In this video we'll look at uh, okay, real life examples with mixed number notation. In particular if you're asked to get the fraction of one number as a fraction of another number. Okay, So we'll look at just this example and these two questions and then this question at the end. And uh, we're going to look at annual average precipitation uh, rates in Washington, Oregon and Idaho. So <coughs> let's say that Washington gets on average 38 inches of precipitation rain and snow combined uh, per year Oregon gets 27 inches and Idaho gets 18 and if you were asked um, to get um, th if you're asked the annual precipitation of, of Wash in Washington is what fraction of the annual precipitation of Oregon okay you would basically so this has this sentence has fraction of in it okay now if Washington is to be a fraction of Oregon it would look like this Washington over Oregon because it's asking for Washington as a fraction of Oregon if it was the other way around if it was Oregon as a fraction of Washington it would be Oregon over Washington but basically when you got fraction of the the word that comes first is over the next one okay so uh, so we'll have the Washington number 38 over the Oregon number 27 and that's an improper fraction now we need to turn that into a mixed number so by all means see if you can turn that into a mixed number 27 into 38 goes how many times? one time right? and what's the remainder? let's see um, 38 minus 27. 8 minus 7 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. So I'm getting 1 and 11 27ths, okay, as a mixed number. So why did we do this? Well, it says that um, the that says that the amount of rainfall or precipitation in Washington is as much as Oregon but a bit more it's, it's the same amount this is be the, the one represents as much as Oregon and then 11 27 more so to speak 11 27 I guess is almost a half you would say right so it's almost one and a half times but it's precisely one and 11 27 more okay so a little bit less than one and a half it just helps you to see that uh, so please go ahead and do this one yourself the annual precipitation of Oregon it's what fraction of the annual precipitation of Idaho? So, do you do Oregon over Idaho or Idaho over Oregon? It's Oregon is what fraction of Idaho? Okay, so Oregon is a fraction of Idaho means Oregon number over Idaho, right? So, what number do we have for Oregon? 27 inches of rain per year and Idaho 18 okay so this is a mix this is a improper fraction and we need to turn that into a mixed number so go ahead and turn it into a mixed number 18 into 27 goes one time and the remainder is let's see 27 minus 18 uh, that becomes a 1, this becomes 17 17 minus 8 is 9 1 minus 1 is 0 so 1 and 9 eighteenths ok, so that's can we simplify that anymore? 9 eighteenths can you put this fraction in lowest terms? well, 9 into 9 goes once and 9 into 18 goes twice right so that is 1 and 1 half so now this is interesting the annual precipitation of Oregon is more than Idaho it's 27 inches compared to 18 so when we get the fraction of we are doing a, an accurate comparison of the two numbers we're, and we turn it into a mixed number the one shows that the Oregon precipitation is, is as much as Idaho's it's 18 but it's 9 more as well 
and that 9 over 18 became 1 half. So this is sh sh saying to us that Oregon's uh, precipitation is 1 and 1 half times Idaho's precipitation. Pre exactly. Precipitation. So I think that's kind of cool. So if anyone ever says Oregon has three times as much rain as Idaho, they're they're not. It's not true. It certainly doesn't have the same amount. Oregon doesn't have twice as much as Idaho. It has one and a half times as much as Idaho, precisely. But anyway, I think that's interesting. So if you'd like to press pause and do this one yourself, the annual precipitation of Washington is what fraction? of the annual precipitation of Idaho. So press pause and do that one. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So Washington is what fraction of Idaho means we've got to get the Washington number and put that over the Idaho number. Okay, The Washington number is 38, the Idaho number is 18. 38 inches of rain in Washington 18 in Idaho, and um, we'll turn that into a mixed number. 18 into 38 goes twice, remainder. Well, 18 times 2 is 36, so remainder 2, right? 2 and 2 eighteenths. Now, can we simplify that? 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 18 goes 9 times, so 2 and 1 ninth. Okay? So now this is interesting because what we found is Washington's precipitation pre sorry precip it Asian is two and one ninth times Idaho's precipitation. Okay? So Washington's is a little more than twice as much. Of course, if this number, if Washington had them in 36, it would have just had 36 over 18, which equals 2. So you would have said, well, Washington's is twice as much. But it's a little more than that. So Washington's precipitation is 2 and 1 ninth times Idaho's exactly. So it's a, it's a little bit more than twice as much. Of course, it's going to change from year to year. But on average, it's about, it's a little bit, a little bit more than twice as much uh, uh, rainfall and snowfall as Idaho.